Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Unfortunately, I haven't been too active lately when it comes to news of different companies that has been coming out. Due to me having my eye injury and all that, I haven't been able to really make too many videos. However, some new Jurassic World figures were just revealed today, so I figured I would make an attempt here to make a news video for you guys real quick. I have a few new images really quickly here of the Rebore baby velociraptor that will be coming out. There is no information yet on what the paint scheme will be, however it is going to be a grab and go figure, which will be a PVC figure instead of what their normal figures are made of, so it should be a good bit cheaper than most normal Rebore figures. No word yet on the release date or any of that information, but they did say that it should be coming quite soon. And we also found an image, thanks to Jurassic Outpost, of an upcoming dual attack pteranodon that has recently hit stores in Australia, so it's only a matter of time before it does start showing up here in the United States and I assume everywhere else. Really looks quite cool and honestly could be one of my favorite pteranodon figures that has arrived from the Jurassic World line so far. And as far as new reveals go, we got some new images here. One is a Velociraptor which is actually the sculpt of the JP3 Raptor we were supposed to get a little while back for the Legacy line. Unfortunately, I have no idea what has happened to that figure or when it will actually be coming out or if it's been cancelled and I'm talking about the original JP3 color scheme. I really really like that figure and the spitting Dilophosaurus but unfortunately we have had no news whatsoever on that for quite a little while now. And judging by the fact that they are now re-releasing it with this alternate paint scheme, leaves me little to no hope that we will get that figure. Hopefully it hasn't been cancelled, but this is uh, kind of leading me to believe that maybe it has. I'm not too sold on this color scheme. I mean, it looks okay. The yellow and the gray looks pretty nice, but I don't know what's going on with the weird red on the legs or the red on the snout. Kind of looks like he's trying to wear some lipstick or something. I do like the sculpt overall, I've been a big fan of that, and including the quills on the head is really quite awesome, but unfortunately I'm not a big, big fan of the paint scheme, however I will definitely still pick it up when it comes out. We are going to get a Mosasaurus, and this is going to be an attack pack figure, and I actually really quite like it. I think it's got a very appealing paint scheme, and overall the sculpt looks really nice as well, so this is a very cool looking figure that I will definitely also be picking up when it does eventually hit stores. Very, very cool looking figure. I really, like I said, I really like that blue and the black. It just looks so nice. Then we've got a Mononychus, or I'm not really positive actually how you say the name. But uh, one thing that's really cool about this figure is it's actually the very first fully feathered dinosaur I think that we have gotten in any of the Jurassic World lines or Jurassic Park lines from what I can recall. There, I may be wrong, but I don't really recall there being any before. And I think that this thing is absolutely beautiful. I really love the paint scheme on it, it's very bird-like, kind of has that hanging skin there in the throat, similar to like a uh, turkey or something. And it's got uh, yellowish feet, very bird-like again. And the overall sculpt really, really looks cool. This actually may end up being my favorite out of all the attack pack figures. I think it really is that nice looking. And I definitely like the paint applied. There's actually numerous different paints that you can see there. So that's another plus. Really looking forward to this figure. Then we also got to see the Quetzalcoatlus, and it is absolutely beautiful. It looks similar to the Rorivore when it comes to the articulation in the wings, the Rorivore Pteranodon, I mean. And uh, I really like that there is quite a bit of articulation in the neck, I assume also an articulated jaw. And the paint scheme overall is really nice as well. I love that blue streak down the side, and the head crest absolutely looks beautiful also. So this is one that I'm really, really looking forward to. And uh, I'm kind of building them up as far as excitement goes here in order of least excited to most excited. So the one that I am the most excited about is the Amargosaurus. We finally get a chance to see it and I am beyond blown away. I think this will probably be one of the best Amargosaurus figures that there is out there right behind the new PNSO one. But man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I really love the red that runs down the sail area of the neck. I think the paint scheme overall is just absolutely beautiful with that brownish tan and that darker coloration on the back coming down. I can see that that red kind of runs down the entire back so I'm really hoping that this is exactly how the figure stays and they don't tweak the uh, paint job at all before it comes out because I really really like the paint scheme on it currently. It does appear to have a good bit of articulation as well. And uh, again, the overall sculpt is fantastic. I really just can't get over the head sculpt 
or really the sculpt everywhere on this. It's just beyond words beautiful. So I am again very, very excited for this also. Big thanks to Collect Jurassic and Jurassic Outpost for these pictures, as they were the ones that broke the news and these images of the reveals. So all credit goes to them for these images. And please in the comments, guys, let me know what you think of all of these new upcoming figures. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.